Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is The Warmer. I am Amalgamash. This game was submitted to my MV3D Fall 2020 Game Jam. The grand prize? A premium edition of the MV3D plugin, which grants you the ability to import 3D object files into your game, as well as advanced control over shadows and lighting, fog. We've got uh, default assets, which is fine. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be good. I hope. First person, and as an optional prize, uh, prize, a bit of a chat session with me for a video. You get to interview the winner, ask them some questions, ask them about the project, influences, inspirations, where they hope to go with it, what they might want to do in the future. Uh, what they like better, cats, dogs, uh, chocolate, Twizzlers, Twix left, Twix right, there's only one right answer. You can go to the, to the warming room, home, or stay. I'm going to stay for now, because this is beautiful. This was made in RPG Maker MV, using the MV3D plugin. So everything you see here was used, uh, it was made in RPG Maker MV. And then, to actually have graphics like this, you just go get you a plug-in. Well, it's not that easy. There is a little bit of learning involved. And uh, besides that, though, I'm just checking to see if there's, you know, anything in this wardrobe or if I can even search it. Hi. You are a person. What's up, Dave? Text. It's the first MV3D game I've played in the jam that's had dialogue. What do you need me to do this time? Prepare me something, please. I forgot something, or nothing, really. I've got no context, so I'm just gonna say, prepare me something. Oh, whoops. Typical you. What kind of thing did you forget this time? Those papers littered on the floor, or why do you prepare food in my house again? Let's go with that. As your friend, I am taking care of your lack of cooking skills. Okay. What about those papers littered on the floor? You mean those papers that you put there? right? Your key word for remembering is space. Ah, all right, I remember now. Those are for traveling. Do I have a memory problem? Oh, Dave, you are very short, and you're in my way. Oh, yeah, get out of my way so I can stand on the counter. Uh, so, you're gonna notice things like that. That's flat, but that, you know, just a, just a couple of note tags that, that could have a three-dimension rendered to it as well just like that table what else we got going on in this house oh, by far this is my favorite kind of aesthetic oh i don't have a roof i have a ceiling but no roof i'm not poking fun at the game or the developer i'm just i'm making casual observations that i find very amusing i've never seen a roof uh the house that didn't have a roof before i mean at least not a ceiling uh, without a roof. Okay, is there anything else to do out here, or do I need to just go pick up my papers? I think I'll go do that. And this extrusion in the hedge wall isn't, it's not a door or anything. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Let's run. Okay. So, very sorry. I forgot to mention this game was developed by Wabsol. And we're going to go to the warming room. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so that you can check this out for yourself. I believe there may be updates to it uh, at the developer's behest. They may continue to add features, make it bigger, give them feedback, tell them what you would like, uh, what you like about this, whether it's uh, something you experience yourself by playing it or something that you saw in this video. I personally love anything and everything having to do with 3D, with these low textures, low res textures, this aesthetic. I started out playing uh, on my channel, MV3D Games. Fractalus was the first game that I played on my channel. It was the first game that had a series on my channel. And when I come back from, when I officially come back from break, I will be playing Fractalus 2.0. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure that I have a better CPU because I did boot that game up and it is very laggy. And these games, you know, they they tax the CPU because RPG Maker 
taxes the CPU when you get into a map that has a crap load of uh, events and the plugin just it exponentially increases the demand not from your graphics card your graphics card can handle all of this just fine let's go home oh so right home is here home is here and I can also just stay here which means I might be done that's it so yeah I, th I think that any lag that you might see me experiencing is due to my CPU that's something that I've mentioned in a couple of other videos as well because my graphics card is beyond able to handle this and even without the 3d effects RPG maker will lag on some computers uh, just because of the amount of events in a given map so hey anything else Prepare me something, please. Uh, okay. I think that might be it. I don't think there is anything else to do for this particular tech demo. What I'm going to call it. I will go back to the warming room and run around a bit. Uh, but check out that skybox. That is really pretty. Really pretty. Oh, I, I have camera control. Nice, nice, nice. Just a little bit, but it's there. Let's go back home. Look out the window. Ah, no. Nothing. We still live on a floating island in the sky. The infinite expanse of cerulean blue threatening every day to consume us all, leaving nothing behind until we are of the clouds ourselves. So that's it. Thank you very much, Websol, for submitting this bit of a demo to the jam. I appreciate it. It's fun to run around. I enjoy taking in the visuals. Look at that table. This is probably a lot of the work, where a lot of the, the work for this game went. Not just the table, but the kinds of uh, work that had to be done to just different things, different heights and such, and uh, configuring side textures and things. That table doesn't look like that in regular RPG Maker. It just doesn't. It's not 3D for one thing. But I would like to know what the concept is and where this is going. So I'm interested. And that's it. Please let me know if I missed anything. Uh, anybody watching who has enjoyed any part of this or is curious about it, spur the developer on, whether it's in the comments below or on their itch page. Uh, I actually think it's better if you do it that way. That way they're guaranteed to see your comments. And. Let me know what you thought otherwise. Thank you very much for watching. I will commence judgment, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.